Hey, ladies. Quick question. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Tidbit Tuesday. I'm super excited to have Brittany here today. <laughs> She is also one of our web designers, and we are here for part two of the best and worst of 2019 web design. Hopefully everyone saw last week's video. I'll link to that in the comments below. So starting on a positive note, Brittany, what was your favorite website from this past year? Honestly, I have a lot of favorite websites, but one of my favorites um, that I'll show you today is called Child and Family Development. Right away when you look at it, you can just see how fun this is and interactive. The services they provide are things like speech therapy. I think they do therapy for people, uh, kids with autism, ADHD, here it says. Mm -hmm. I think the biggest thing I love about this website is that for people who are coming to a website and looking for services like that, that can be a really stressful situation. Mm -hmm. And so to come to a website where things are so clearly explained and so light and airy and friendly and welcoming, mm -hmm. uh, that makes me just really impressed with, with the design that they did. And I think everything is really great for accessibility. They have really good color contrast. But at the same time, they've balanced that with some really fun colors and really fun design elements. So sometimes when you think of accessibility, right. it can maybe seem like you have to make a boring website. You got animation and everything and a great navigation. It's just very clear, very fun, very friendly and welcoming. So I looked to this site a lot for inspiration last year. And so I thought it shot off today. I'm kind of excited for this next part too because <laughs> it's also kind of fun. What examples of poor web design did you come across in 2019? Okay, so this is an interesting <laughs> thing and I'm not going to pick like just one website. I kind of want to talk about like a movement in the web design and art world in general and it's mm -hmm. called brutalism. It's ruggedness and lack of concern to look comfortable or easy. Brutalism can be seen as a reaction by a younger generation to the lightness, optimism, and frivolity of today's web design. But the intention, like it says, is to not feel comfortable, is to not mm -hmm. feel easy. It's it's successful because it really makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> Were you showing Matt some yes. of these? Because I could hear the two of them just like being like, oh my god, this is awful. And just like Harlan and I were in here like, what's happening out there? All of us designers out there were like oh just, just geeking out over these terrible web designs. Here is Oh no. <laughs> just a prime example of brutalism. I just right feel here. like kind of creeped out actually. It's I like know. This. It feels dark. I don't, I, honestly, I'm not even sure what's happening when I'm moving my mouse around. Clearly, that background color with this dark text on top is not accessible. I'm going to show you another example. Uh, also, don't really know what's happening here, but no. something's and happening. Something's <laughs> happening. I will say, I think this one has some good accessibility going on with the color contrast. I'll commend them That's for that. Cool. They're doing wrong the right way. <laughs> they are. They are. You know, like this no events font right here. I hate this. I hate that font. Like in general, I hate it. Why would you use it? But, you know, there it is. I have like two more examples to show here. What is this? I just can't. I just can't with this website. Someone did this I on think... purpose and called it art. I think it's supposed to say push. Because it's Studio Push. That's what this place is called. Okay, one last example. <laughs> just. They're going for this whole pop-up crazy look, and when you roll around, then OMG, like, yes. OMG, <laughs> yes. Don't even know how to get back to that. <laughs> These are examples of, uh, of websites that successfully accomplish brutalism style and that in-your-face, not comfortable, not easy, not very nice look. Not everyone tries to do a bad job, but they, these tools can just be used incorrectly. And yeah. I, I guess I don't know what your what your main takeaways would be for web design in 2020, referencing these different examples. I think making, um, making your users feel at ease, making them feel comfortable is really important. Take that first website I showed you that I love and come to me with those things. <laughs> we could do those things. We love doing those things. And we're, I'm excited to do more work like that that just really aces it. Well, thank you so much, Brittany. This yeah. has been so much fun. I liked the approach you took. And yes. I want all of you to let us know what you think about the brutalism technique and kind of this trend that's yeah. apparently sweeping the web world. And as always, I will see you next week for our next Tidbit Tuesday. Bye! Mm -hmm. Yeah. We look forward to seeing you soon. Not a big deal. I can okay. Just cut the okay. Out, so. <laughs> All right. Let's do it again. All right.